तेरी नगरी में आकर भगवन हो रहा सुखद एहसास बस तू है मेरे पास यहाँ और मैं हूँ तेरे पास तेरी नगरी में आकर भगवन हो रहा सुखद एहसास तेरी नगरी में आकर भगवन हो रहा सुखद सच में कितना सुहाना जी भर मिलन मनाने का बस यही ठिकाना तेरा मेरा साथ यहाँ सच में कितना सुहाना Shanti. Om Shanti. Krina, when we can start with the Murli. Uh, you have to screen the Murli. Another yes. thing, Ami Ben, today I will have to leave at 6.15. Okay? okay. So you can continue with the session after that. Okay. Yes. Can you increase the font, please? Yes, better. Yeah. No, no, this was perfect before this. Yes, this is perfect. Thank you. Om Shanti 
the Avyat Murli of Bab Dada of 24th March 2009. The one important lesson that we have to learn from this Murli is to become an authority of experience. Because only experience can make us what we can be. So, Bhaktada title for the Murli is Merge the Treasures you have received from Bhaktada into yourself. Another meaning for merge is it disappears, but here the meaning of merge is that you need to receive it, digest it, and make Bhaktada's treasures your own. Use them and become an authority of experience. So we all sit with this Swaman to listen to the Murli, that I, the soul, I am with an authority of experience. Today, Baba is seen all the children everywhere who have accumulated all treasures and have become full. Bharpur. As well as this, Baba is also seeing the result as to what extent each child has accumulated all treasures. To what extent each child, child has accumulated all treasures. You have received many imperishable treasures from Bhaktada. The first and foremost greatest treasure of all is the treasure of the wealth of knowledge through which you have received liberation and liberation in life. All the children have received liberation from the old body and the old world and the stage of liberation in life and the way to go to the land of liberation. Baba says you have received three aspects, liberation from the old body, from the old world, you are aware of the stage of liberation in life, and also you know the way to the land of liberation. There isn't just the treasure of knowledge, but together with that, there is also treasure of yoga through which you attain all powers. Knowledge is the basis for liberation and liberation of life. In life, sorry. Same way, yoga helps you to attain all powers. Together with those is the treasure to imbibe through which you attain all virtues. When you implement the knowledge, you attain virtues. And with this is the treasure of service, through which you receive the treasure of blessings and the treasure of happiness. And together with all of these is the greatest treasure of all, the time, the time of confluence age. 
because throughout the whole cycle, the most valuable time is the time of confluence age. Every thought and every mo moment of the period of the confluence age is very, very valuable. Because it is only at the confluence age that the sweet meeting of Bhaktada and the children take place. In no other age does the meeting of God, the father, and the godly children take place. So which is the highest treasure ever? The treasure of time of confluence age. As well as this, it is only at the time of confluence age that you attain all treasures from Bhaktada. It's not only the meeting, but you receive all treasures from Bhaktada. And it is only at the confluence age that you are able to accumulate those treasures. In no other age is there an account. There is no account in any other age in which you could accumulate them or like a bank in which you can credit them. There's no such thing in any other age. There is just the one confluence age in which you can accumulate as much as you want. And the importance of this confluence period is that you can accumulate for many births in just one birth. This is why this small age has the most importance. And all the children attain treasures from Bab Dada. What is the speciality of what he gives? The father who gives is one, and he gives equally to all. But in accumulating these treasures, every child accumulates according to his or her effort. The father, the bestower, is one and gives equally to all at the same time. But what did he see in all the children while they are imbibing the treasures? That although the father gave equally to all, each one made his own individual effort imbibe the treasures. Firstly, you can create your reward through your own effort. You can create your reward through your own effort. Secondly, you constantly have to remain content and make everyone content. These are two different words altogether in the world. You have to make your own effort and at the same time you have to remain content and make everyone content. With the speciality of contentment, you can accumulate the treasures. Please double underline this point. One is your reward will come through your own effort. But what is most important is you have to constantly remain content and make everyone content. This speciality of contentment can accumulate the treasures. And thirdly, with service. Because through service, all souls attain happiness. And so this is the way you can accumulate the treasures of happiness. So one is through contentment, the other method is through service. Your own effort 
the effort to make everyone content and the effort in service. You can accumulate treasures in all these three ways. In order to accumulate the treasures, especially when coming in connection and relationship with others, yet having the consciousness of being an instrument, have humility with altruistic motives. There is always the need to have good wishes and pure feelings for all souls. Again, your consciousness with your proper attitude, inner motive is very important to accumulate the treasures. If you have all these things in service and in relationships and connections, then you can very easily accumulate in your account of charity and account of blessings. Dab Dada will see everyone's chart. What did he see? He saw that all the children everywhere were number wise. The father is one. He gives everyone at the same time. But in accumulating those treasures, he saw three types of children. One are those who accumulate the treasures and use them immediately, apply those treasures immediately. They do accumulate but then use them and finish them. Means they are spending those treasures immediately. The second are those who use them, they accumulate and they also increase them by paying attention to their accumulation. So first type of children are those who are earning a particular amount of income, but they are spending the total income. So there is no balance. So there cannot be any accumulation. The second are also those who use those treasures, but they are able to accumulate. They pay attention to the methods by which they can increase their accumulation. So what is the method to increase the treasures? The method to increase the treasures is to use the treasures that you have received in any adverse situation that comes up according to the time. Harder the time and you apply your treasures, the more you accumulate them. Those who use their treasures and change their situation through their own stage, they are the ones who are able to accumulate. Those who could bring an effective change through their own inner state of mind are the ones who are able to accumulate. And those who do not use these treasures, how can they accumulate them? So each one of you should ask yourself, am I using the treasures for myself and for others at the right time? Because sometimes we remember only after the situation has passed. Now, the more you use them, the more they will increase. Because by using them, you continue to become more experienced. You know better, you are able to discriminate whether this will work or that will work. 
So you continue to add to the authority of experience. So check and ask yourself, have I accumulated all the treasures? What is the sign that we are accumulating the treasures, that we are becoming authority of experience? That is the sign. Am I using the method to increase these treasures at the right time? Is my authority of experience increasing? Out of all the authorities, it is the authority of experience that is the highest. So each one of you have to increase your account. Account of accumulation of the treasures that we receive from Baba. You have to check. Because now it is the time to check. And you'll still be able to increase your treasures. Children, you still have a chance. Then this chance will also finish. You will not then be able to increase them even if you desire to. A time will come when there will be an inner desire to uh, you know, increase your treasures, but not be able to do it. So Baba says, are you doing it at the right time? Baba Dada has seen that you do receive the treasures and you happily even try to absorb them into yourself. But when you receive the treasures, you only receive treasures through the murli. There are two types of children. One are those who simply listen and the others are those who merge it into themselves, you know, absorb it completely. Some children become very happy on hearing it. But there's a lot of difference, children, between just hearing and absorbing it into yourself. Those who absorb it into themselves continue to become experienced because at the right time, they use what they have absorbed and they continue to increase their treasures. Those who simply listen to it and then speak about it and they relate it quite well. And they even say that what Baba said was really good. However, without absorbing it in oneself, you are unable to use it at the right time. So, all of you have to check. Am I the one who is absorbing it in the self? All the treasures that I'm receiving from Baba. If there is even a little less, if it is not full, there will be fluctuation when situation arises. But someone who has absorbed it in himself will be full. Therefore, no fluctuation. This is why Bhaktata checked everyone's treasures today. You've already been told about three types of children. The first, who received the treasures, use them away so there is no accumulation. Second, those who receive treasures, 
absorb them in themselves. And so they become the authority of experience. And the third who use them absolutely at the right time. They are the ones with highest accumulation. Mm -hmm. To increase the treasures means to use them at the right time. Check yourself to see who am I? The more you continue to use the treasures, the more they increase because whatever treasures they are, it is the master of treasures who will use those treasures. The treasures themselves cannot use themselves. The father has given you all the treasures as an inheritance. Each one of you just have to pay attention to make father's treasures your own. Because the fuller you are in an overflowing state, the more you will remain unshakable and immovable. Bab Dada wants each child to become full. Not to be any less. Because it is only now, only now that you have a chance to accumulate in the imperishable account through the Father. This is why it is said, Abhi nahi to, kabhi nahi. If not now, then never. This is the praise of this time of confluence age. In the future, you will attain the fruit of whatever you have accumulated now. So the time to attain is just now. So each one of you need to check your account. To whatever extent each one's treasure store is full, is visible through their eyes, through their activity, through their face, their face and activity will be a, like a rose, bloomed rose. Bhaktada continues to see from each one's activity and face how cheerful and happy they remain. Spirituality through the eyes, a smile on the face and from actions, everyone will experience the virtues. Eyes, face, and actions. So each of you should check yourself. Bhaktada has the pure hope in all the children that each child should make all other souls full of such treasures. Today, Souls of the world want to receive spiritual power. And it's only you Brahmin souls who are the bestowers of spiritual power. Because naturally you souls are the holiest, highest and richest. Being with the father. Holiest, highest and richest. Out of all souls, you are the holiest of all. No other souls are worshipped with discipline in the same way as you souls are worshipped. Even now, in this last birth, 
your souls are still worshipped. No founder father or great souls who are instruments are worshipped like you are. Although their memorials are also made, but they are not worshipped with discipline in the same way as you are. And your treasures are, you are the richest in the world. The treasures of this one birth of yours as a Brahmin soul is guaranteed to continue for 21 births because this is an inheritance that you've received from the highest father. So just as father is imperishable, in the same way the treasures that you receive from the father are also imperishable. And this is the reason why you are the richest in the world and holiest in the world. The question is, do all of you consider yourself to be such special servers? Those who are the holiest, highest and richest in the world? According to today's time, do you know what souls of the world need? Today, the world needs happiness, power, love. They want spiritual love. So, according to the time, what will you become? You Brahmin souls have to become bestowers. Happiness, power, love. Basis is knowledge. Through your mind, you give them the powers. Through your words, give them the knowledge. Through your actions, give them, share with them the donation of virtues. At the end, Father Brahma gave all the children three words as a gift. Do you remember those three words? Yes, anybody? Incorporeal, egoless, and wiseless. Yes. If you use these three words for service, oh, you can make many souls content. These three words are incorporeal, egoless, and wiseless. Be incorporeal through your mind, be egoless through your words, and wiseless through your actions. Children, use these three words in seva. Through your mind, through your words, through your actions. Now the world has to receive bliss in their hearts. Happiness through the power of you souls. As all are disheartened, you are the stars of hope for the world. Babdada sees all of you children as the stars of father's hopes. But not just the stars in whom there is hope, but you are the stars of hope who fulfill the hopes of others. The children's love constantly reaches Bhaktada. What is the easiest effort of all? There is variety of effort, but the easiest effort is love, mohabbat. In mohabbat, mehnat also changes into a form of mohabbat. Love. Labor changes into love. So to be loving to the father means to make an easy effort. In terms of love, 
do all of you consider yourself to be constantly loving not loving only sometimes but constantly constantly not those who just take a dip but those who remain merged within in the ocean of love those who feel that they are always merged in the ocean of love please raise your hands are you always merged in the ocean of love those who consider themselves to be like this merged in the ocean of love all the time raise your hands underline the word constantly oh you are raising your hands very well aap that is pleased to see your hands because it means you are maintaining courage and even if it is a little less at least you remember when you raised your hand as bab dada has deep love for each and every child why it is bab dada who knows that each and every soul has become loving many times and you are the same souls who have been loving every cycle do you have that intoxication and happiness that you are the souls who claim this right of being loving constantly every cycle seeing the souls who have claimed such a right naturally bab dada is giving them blessings from his heart constantly be tireless and continue to fly if any adverse situation arises do not let your original stage fluctuate because the adverse situation cannot do anything in front of your original stage okay acha those who have come for the first time raise your hands oh many have come seeing each child bab dada is proud of them wa wow, my children wa wow. and you sing the song from your heart automatically wa wow, baba wa wow. my baba wa wow. in the same way father sings the same song for the children wa each child of mine wa the father finds you children after an entire cycle and each one of you is great in front of the whole world so the father do sings the song wa children wa you are wa wa are you not you are the wa wa children are you not wa wa children raise your hands so always remember who are you wa wa children even if you are effort makers you are wa wa children your babas baba children who will return home with the father you will not be left behind will you the father says he will take each child with him in the lap of love please double underline this point baba will take me with him in his lap of love so are you ready are you ready you will not stop on the way somewhere will you you will return with the father because you have promised this you are the ones who will fulfill your promise are you not
So now Babdada wants you to make your angelic form emerge. While moving and walking around, give all the experience of your angelic dress. And Babdada has taught you the drill too, has he not? You should have the habit of changing your clothes. Just as you change the dress of your body, in the same way, the form of soul is angelic. Experience this again and again. So do you like your angelic dress? Just as Father Brahma is sitting in the subtle region in the angelic form. Yes, Baba, we like our subtle dress because there is no pain. There is no suffering in that body. So we really love our angelic form. In the same way, all of you should also experience the angelic form while walking and moving along. The same as the Father. Because it is only when you have the angelic form, you will become a deity. So what is the necessity before we become a deity? Our angelic dress. Remember the three forms of the father, do you not? The father, teacher and Sadhguru. In the same way, you also have your three forms. You have to remember Brahmins, angels, deities. These three forms are firm, are they not? Sometimes you may wear your Brahmin dress and sometimes you would change into an angelic dress and sometimes even into a deity dress. In these three forms, you can automatically be seated on the seat of being Trikaldashi and continue to carry out every task as a detached observer. Because you're looking at all the three times by changing the dresses. So Bhaktada wants everyone to remain constantly with the father and not to become alone. It's only when you stay with the father that you will return with him. If you're only sometimes with the father, then how would you return with him? One who loves someone cannot forget the person he loves. So continue to practice this throughout the day. One moment, become a Brahmin. Next moment, become an angel. Another moment, become a deity. Acha. To all the children from everywhere who are constantly full of treasures, those who are constant servers through their activity and phase. Because of all of you have promised that you will become world transformers and transform the world. And so servers remain engaged in service while walking and moving around. Such world servers and world transformers who make everyone full with father's treasures. To all of Baba's children from everywhere, Abdata's love, Remembrance, blessings from the heart, and namaste. Mite mite bachon ki bhi, mite mite bab dada ko, yaad yaad, good morning, namaste baba, namaste. Om Shanti. Om Shanti, thank you to Krina Ben. We shall have a moment in silence and then you can join for the meeting.
Yes, you can unmute yourself and share. Om Shanti. Good morning, angels. Happy Sadhguru Day. It is a wonderful Murli, but the one touched my heart the most and easiest, Baba says, to have to make so much effort and the easiest way is just to have love because even love makes laboring clears because of love and I feel that is the easiest way because when we have love not only for Baba even for all souls we will never yes yes all well oh Shanti thank you bye Om Shanti. Good morning, everyone. Uh, my Baba says, when you implement knowledge, you attain virtues. So this is my takeaway point because we just happen to re keep reading the uh, murlis and everything. We need to implement all this knowledge in our day-to-day -day, uh, life and uh, we can see the sparkle. When we, see this, uh, when we have the virtues, everybody can see the sparkle on our face. And the other one is with the speciality of contentment, you can accumulate the treasure. With the speciality of your contentment, you can accumulate treasure. And with service also, you can accumulate the treasure of happiness. Om Shanti. Om Shanti. I don't know if you can hear me because I'm in the aircraft. Uh, but uh, as sister said, the same kyo tabhi prabh payo. Actually, it reminded me of this line. The easiest way to get to Baba is to just have pure love. And if you surrender with the pure love, he will himself come and put you in his lap. And this was a very important point in today's Mughali for me. And also the last part, which is... Uh, Connect to Baba and uh, in one second we an Brahmin soul to an angel, an angel to a deity. So very interesting. Nice takeaway for me. Thank you, Om Shanti. I also like the point where uh, my Baba says that you can create your reward with your own efforts. Om Shanti. Yes, anyone else? Om Shanti, Prisa. Om Shanti, um, As Baba told today, the father who gives is one and he gives equally to all. But in accumulating the treasures, every child accumulates according to their own effort. So effort uh, means like uh, uh, Baba told that love, love is the only way where it, we can make the remembrance easy. So how to, um, like, uh, I can say, ki, kaise, um, uh, we love Baba, no? L like Bindu, and how we can remember all the time. Like in today's Sakar Muli, also Baba has told about uh, Nirantar Yogi. A Sahaj Yogi, we should not like remember the God, we cannot, the whole day we are busy with the work, with the, like um, we go to workplace also, though we start, in the beginning we start, okay, huh, we should, we uh, love God, we remember God, but when we get involved, we get so much involved in work that we forget. So I would like to know this today. Today we were discussing at home also ki how it is possible because Sakar model is also beautiful. Beautifully Baba has told 
अबाउट दिस कि सहज एक जगह पर बैठकर नहीं याद करना मतलब दिन और निरंतर याद करना हाउ इट इज पॉसिबल फॉर अस प्लीज टेल मी प्लीज गाइड मी दिस one connection between efforts and rewards if the efforts are divine so will be the reward and otherwise also whatever were uh, efforts that we are taking if there were efforts which are uh, if there are any kind of uh, is there any kind of malice or uh, uh, vested interest that you would have in any effort mm-hmm. the reward is also going to be like that it is it might give you a result but it will not give you the satisfaction the divinity and the fulfillment mm-hmm. uh, the only thing is the the angle of the effort needs to be shifted Gee. so moving from operating in the way we would operate uh, in day to day lives to bringing divinity in our efforts yeah. because anyways we are going to get rewarded if you are having, having anger then the reward is also going to be as a result of anger and also what baba said uh, about love yeah. whatever people do in day to day lives also yeah. they do it with a lot of love mm-hmm. matlab uh, you have any kind of a vice mm-hmm. whether it's calm krodh lobh moh ahankar or any of that they don't know but they give their stems the fullest mm-hmm. when they are operating from there even when they are angry they get they give so much of themselves in that that the answer the reward is also going to be connected to that so here is coming into soul consciousness channelizing yourself from coming operating out of vices to moving to divinity and baba has shown a clear path that the way to get connected to me is love also what is there is that along with love comes fear this is what i was uh, reflecting that sometimes when we say that behad ka pyar so there is a fear that you would have of getting misused or uh, people might take advantage but again that is body consciousness when you surrender have faith and have baba's presence in everything then the fear goes away so this is what i could get out of today's only thank you thank you so much om shanti <clears throat> i think uh, your question was how to remember baba throughout the day but uh, when we become karm yogi we forget right Jee. so yes yesterday really was sakar it was all about that only it said that uh, people need sukh shanti these days and we are uh, profession is only to you know give them this sukh shanti right and what we we have got from god khushi happiness so we have to give this to others also and the only method is keep turning yesterday also they gave the example like the cow keeps grazing throughout the day first she takes the treasures she eats and then she keeps grazing throughout the day so what we have got khushi how we have got khushi happiness is 
that we've got the gyan, the knowledge. We've got Baba, which nobody else has got. So that's why we are happy. And then when we are happy, we can give it to others also. We can. That's what the world is looking for. Happiness. Right. So when we right. keep throughout the day, like we have read this movie, just take out one point if you can't remember many points. Just take out one point yeah. for yourself and keep grazing throughout the day. How? Why? When? I mean, Baba says not to go into why, how and all that. But in Gyan, yes, you can. Why Baba said this? What does he mean? So you can go into Vistar in this, in Gyan, but not otherwise in <laughs> Lockheed mm. World. That why this happened because Baba has given us yeah. the knowledge of drama. This is what yesterday's Holi was all about. So if you haven't read it nicely, yeah. you can read it again. Yesterday's Holi is all about this, I think. I hope uh, I am right. If anybody yeah. wants to read anything else, and one, uh, of, one of the other things, uh, Madhuban, uh, about. Sister. How to nirantar, have nirantar yad of Baba is to slow down your thoughts. When the mind is too busy, it is over occupied. We forget a lot of things, even important things we forget. Right? Because we are over exhausting our mind. So to slow down. And situations are like that, no? Well, situations are like that. Uh, suppose I give you one example. So sorry to disturb you. I interrupt you. Actually, why I give you one example. No example like uh, uh, we are sitting in an office and in the office, and uh, waste thoughts are going on. Well, the waste thoughts mean waste talks are going on. And you know, ki, I feel very bad. Ki, why I am wasting time here? Because it's my like necessity to sit there because I can't do anything else. No op other option is there. And that time I feel so bad. Ki, why we our time is so much time is being wasted. How to remember God that time? But because everybody is busy in talking, waste talk, waste talks are going on daily, daily. So how can I be away from that while sitting there? Very nice thing that you asked right now, sister. Uh, what I have learned is what Baba says, Dekhte hue bhi nahi dekho, sunte hue bhi mat suno. So you are there, you're physically there. But once you are introvert, means once you are with your own self, maybe the words are falling on your ears. But you are within your own self. So you're not making yourself available spiritually. Ji. To be connected to what the people are talking. Ji, ji. You can't stop people by talking yeah. whatever they are. But right. you have a choice how much you want to get involved in that. Ji. Right? So ji, it's a ji. practice over a period of time. I okay. experience that myself working. I okay. sometimes need doing business. I need to sit people around. And they gossip and they talk about uh, certain things which are not, not healthy. Why? And it is important for me to be there so, because I'm doing that work. So Ji. I don't involve myself. Okay. That is what Baba says that while you're even sitting and talking with people, being Ji. with people, you can meditate. Mm -hmm. Meditation is when you get introvert and be with yourself at that time Ji. and not make yourself available spiritually. Ji. Physically, you're there. Ji. 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 Right? right? Right. Thank you so much. Thank you, Sima Didi. Thank you, Bhaiji. Okay. Uh, Puneet Bhai, can we have two minutes music? Uh, the flute music that you played was very nice. Uh, Sandhya Ben also was saying it was very nice. If you can play it, please. We just have two minutes in yeah. silence and then complete the session today. <laughs> 